Hello, my name is Erica, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use a fractional distillation apparatus. First, we find our aluminum block and set it on top of the hot plate. Turn the hot plate on and adjust it to the appropriate setting and let it begin heating. While it's heating, we want to find our jacketed condenser and our water hoses and attach them. The first water hose should come from the cool water supply and be attached to the bottom of the jacketed condenser. The second water hose should be attached to the top of the jacketed condenser on one end, and the other end should allow water to flow down the drain. Once those are on there, set your jacketed condenser aside and begin to assemble the rest of the apparatus. Find a thermometer, a screw cap, and an O-ring. Slide the screw cap on, followed by the O-ring. Adjusting the O-ring to the line labeled immersed to this line. Let the screw cap fall on top of that. Find a thermometer adapter, sliding it over the thermometer, and screw it in place. All of our glassware should be put together pretty firmly, but not stuck. Next, we add a distillation head, again sliding it over the thermometer and screwing it in place. You'll notice so far that our assembly looks a lot like a simple distillation assembly. But right now, we actually find our fractionating column, which is our thing that's different, and attach it to the bottom of the distillation head as well. While we were assembling this, once again we depended on our lovely lab partner to go and find our round bottom flask and appropriate solution. We want to make sure that there are a few boiling chips in the round bottom flask. And then attach the round bottom flask to the bottom of the fractionating column as well. Place this whole apparatus on your heating aluminum block and secure it in place with the clamp. And then attach our jacket condenser to the side of our distillation head. We want to make sure that our hoses are not touching the hot, hot plate. That could be very bad. And then we want to turn on our water from our cool water supply, like so. We want to give it a firm turn, but we want to make sure that we don't turn the water on too fast because water will go everywhere. Allow the water to fill the jacket condenser so that we slightly see it flowing through. And we want to avoid as many bubbles as possible. And that is the setup of our fractional distillation. About 15 to 20 minutes later, our fractional distillation apparatus should look something like this, in which we see that our solution is distilling and that drops are falling from the side of the jacketed condenser into our beaker. Okay. A little while after that, once the solution has boiled down so that there's only just a little bit and that it hasn't gotten below the boiling chips, we should be finished.